The nerve impulse, electrochemical impulse transmission along a neuron. What exactly is the nature of the electrical impulses traveling along neurons? Is it like the electricity traveling through wires where the energy is passed from electron to electron? Not at all, but it does create voltage across the membrane. In neurons, this voltage is created by moving ions across the cell membrane. This is the state of the neuron at rest when it is unstimulated. We call this resting potential. The neuron is polarized. The inside is negatively charged relative to the outside. Here's why. There are negative ions inside and outside the cell. They are present on both sides of the membrane. Large organic negatively charged ions inside and inorganic negative ions outside. The sodium potassium pump has pumped sodium ions out of the cell and potassium ions have been allowed in. For every three sodium ions pumped out, two potassium ions have been allowed in. As a result, the inside is negatively charged relative to the outside. It has an overall charge of minus 65 millivolts. We say that resting membrane potential is minus 65 millivolts. Depolarization occurs when a neuron is stimulated by an electrical charge, heat, mechanical deformation, or chemicals called neurotransmitters. The membrane permeability changes. Sodium gates open and sodium flows in. The inside becomes relatively positive and the overall charge inside is plus 40 millivolts. We say that the action potential is plus 40 millivolts. It's important to note that the whole neuron does not depolarize at the same time. This is the area of depolarization. And the rest of the neuron still maintains resting potential. Once one region of the neuron is depolarized, however, almost immediately potassium gates open up and potassium begins to flow out. And this begins to reestablish polarity in this area. Repolarization quickly occurs to that portion of the membrane and returns it to resting potential. Within a half a millisecond of permeability of the membrane to sodium, the membrane becomes impermeable to it once again and sodium is pumped out. That part of the neuron returns to the resting state. However, sodium permeability increases in the adjacent portion of the membrane and it becomes depolarized. So the wave has traveled a short distance along the neuron. This process is repeated along the length of the neuron. Here's the neuron at rest, depolarization of the first part, repolarization of the first part and depolarization of the next part, repolarization of the next part and then depolarization of the subsequent part and back to resting potential that would be one wave of depolarization. Let's take a look at it again quickly. More frequent waves of depolarization along a sensory neuron are interpreted by the central nervous system as a more intense stimulus. Thus, a sharp pinprick would result in many waves of depolarization in a short period of time. whereas a gentle poke would result in fewer waves of depolarization in the same period of time.